YouTube, we are back with another tutorial, a low taper tutorial right here. I'm Noel Blends. I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to achieve this type of look. We are going to be cutting about an inch all around his head with a small taper tutorial. If you guys like this haircut, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and uh, comment down below what you guys want to see. Other than that, let's get right into it. So the first thing I do is I start off by wetting his hair. That way we're gonna, uh, it gets nice and easy to um, move around. We are gonna be taking about an inch all around. The first thing I do is I do part it. This is called like a horseshoe part. I start with one side and we are gonna be taking, pulling out his hair and just creating a little guideline on the bottom. That way I know um, exactly how much to take off and how much is gonna be over his ear. <laughs> As you guys can see, I just pull it from the bottom and create my guideline and just make sure you cut the, the hairs that hang out right there. We are going to be doing this all around his head. Right here, what I start to do, I pull out his hair and um, to be honest, guys, I don't, I'm not super sure like what this is called exactly. Um, I'm just a visual learner, man. The, that's the way I learn and I'm showing you guys the way I do it. I don't know exactly the names for it. I'm not I'm not too familiar with it, but doing this has uh, created giving me giving me guidance through through these type of haircuts uh, with a lot of bulk. And all you got to do is pull out and cut um, the hairs or however much you want to cut off. Make sure you just uh, pull it out and cut it straight straight down or straight up. Of course, we do it all around his head. You start with one side and you go all around or to the other side. Just make sure you try to keep it as neat as possible. As you guys can see, I'm just pulling it out and cutting. I'm doing about half an inch all around his head because he said he said an inch, but he didn't have a lot of bulk to be honest. So I'm just doing about half an inch just to clean it up basically and give it some shape. As you guys can see, I'm following that guideline as I keep going around his head. I've created that guideline, just um, trying to get it as, as neat as possible. I'm not super perfect at it, but uh, I mean, it, this type of technique worked for me and I hope it works for you guys as well. So we are going to do the top as well. Now we are going to cut about an, about an inch on top. And what I like to do is I, I, I like to part it with that strip in the middle. That way it's easier to, to follow your guideline when you cut back or the top from the front to the back. Once you do this guideline, it allows you to see it better. Keep in mind guys that this is just the way I do it. I may not be doing it the correct way. Um, but with this type of technique, it's helped me. Um, I've had really good success with it, so I stuck with it. And I've learned this. I've taken a few classes, like in person, a while back, and this is what I learned from it. And I see everybody does it differently, but it's really just up to you what really fits you and what you feel comfortable with. You can do this uh, cutting the top a whole different way. It's really just up to y'all. Y'all can do sections. Per me personally, I don't like doing that unless I'm doing like a crop top or something. We all do it differently. I know Fader Culture does it different. Um, George Cepeda, 360 Jeezy. Ah, 360 Jeezy does it something like this. He just goes back. You got everybody doing it differently. You got Astro. You got Nevin the Barber doing doing it all differently. But like I said, it's just really up to what you guys feel comfortable with and sticking to it and really trying to master it. And with time, you'll you'll find it way easier to really. Go, go pretty smooth through the top and it won't, it won't be super, super uh, hard for y'all. I do blow dry their hair. Uh, the blow dryer is like my best friend, to be honest, when working with these type of hairstyles. I gotta have a, a blow dryer, if not. Um, I just like to maneuver the hair certain type of ways and with the blow dryer guys, it will help you guys do whatever you guys want with the top of the head. It's, you, got, you always got a style style the top add a little bit of texture powder this is i didn't even point cut it or nothing i just went straight across and it's still adding this texture powder it does give 
it gives a little bit of texture to it nothing too crazy guys and i forgot to mention with the blow drying do i do put it on medium heat and so it just depends if i'm trying to go a little faster i'll put it on high heat uh be careful when you put it on high heat because it will burn your client's hair so make sure you add a little bit of hair serum as well any type of hair serum will work for for this um for blow drying just make sure you add a little bit that way it protects it it's some type of oils and um just keep it on medium heat and do whatever you need to do on the top and you'll be straight so as you guys can see i did go with the number two guard to open and i just cleaned up some of the bulk i usually clean clean the bulk with the number two that way i can get a nice uh crispy blend and i can see where where i'm gonna set my my blend at and everything and then i hit it with the shears to connect the bottom to the top i didn't just a little bit ain't got to be perfect i just like to clean up my area of my canvas that way i can have a good um, idea where i'm gonna smack that blend on when sending in your guidelines make sure it don't got to be super loopy um, i know some people really like to do it but me personally i just like to make a straight line <laughs> i think it just depends the way you uh, fade it on top you can do like a no as you guys can see through here i do like a no shapes type blend and um we start out with the number one guard lever fully closed and we create about a uh, since it's a low tape we're gonna do about half an inch that way we can um we don't push it up super high and then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the half guard right here we're just gonna copy the same exact thing so we are gonna take out the bottom line now with these are the austin fast feeds i do i have everything listed down below guys that way you guys can check out from equipment to what i record with and everything every product i use i'm using it's all listed down below so make sure you guys check in the description uh when taking out that bottom line just make sure it should come out pretty easy like real smooth it don't take much work i'm literally not fast forwarding uh all my steps for you guys i'm just showing you exactly how i do it it don't take much work to to get this type of blend going now we're gonna do a one and a half guard level fully closed and we're gonna keep about another half inch guideline on top and once we do that we're gonna come back with our our one guard lever fully open and we're gonna start fading down now Pretty much what you want to do is copy the same thing you did with the one and a half guard now, but with the number one. You start with it open, and we, as you guys can see, I just closed it halfway, and we're going to go a little bit lower. Since it, it is a little taper, we are going to be using our corners more, and um, being more precise with it because you, do, you don't want to push up the blend. As you guys can see right there too, I did close it, and we're just going a little bit lower. So you start out open, halfway, and then close, and just start blending down. It's not gonna take out the line completely, but that's why we come right here with this step with the half guard, use your corners and just keep the keep it closed and just use your corner and flick out the little remaining dark spots. It should come out pretty easy. Right here, we're pretty much done with our blend. I'm just detailing. I go back to the number one guard and I start detailing all the little dark spots I missed. So we're basically done with our blend right there. Now I'm just gonna show you guys how I smack the lineup on. It's, I'm basically just, if you guys want a video on how I do a lineup like broken down specifically, just let me know and I'll, I'll make that for you guys. But I'm gonna fast forward this side and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get more into detail uh, for you guys in the back and I'll show you guys um, how I do the back taper. So to start off with the back taper, I am cleaning up the bulk. Like I told you guys, I do like to, Clean up some of the bulk that way I have a nice canvas to work with where I'm and see where exactly where I'm gonna put that blend at. Right here I'm just taking my thinning shears and my taper cone and I'm just gradually gradually blending to the top and connecting the bottom to the top. Nothing too crazy, just it don't gotta be perfect. I just trying to get more of a shape going. So, first thing we do, guys, is start off with our setting in our first bob guideline. I do like to go straight across. I don't like none of that curving stuff. Every now and then, I'll try it out, do it again, see how I like it. But to be honest, it's just not me. I do not like doing that. I think it looks better just straight across. That way, you can get a nice, crispy, solid lineup in the back. Again, 
again, guys, I do not, I am not bashing nobody on if they like to do it the other uh, type of way on the back tapers. I'm just simply letting you guys know this is the way I like to do it, and I'm not bashing nobody. So let's get that straight, guys. So right here, after we set in that ball guideline, we're gonna we're coming with our shavers. These are the Andes uh, shavers. I get all this stuff at Amazon. Huh? Like I said, everything's listed down below. And just go straight up to the line. Let the let the the shaver do the work. Don't put crazy pressure, or else that line's gonna be kind of tough to take out. So the first step we do is we come in with our one guard lever fully closed and create about an inch guideline. We are gonna be, be making the guidelines a little bit bigger in the back, about uh, almost about an inch, and just go straight across and try to get it as neat as possible. Keep the blade flat, guys. Remember, we are we are sanding down paper. We're not flicking up. We're sanding. We're sanding. All right, never mind. I said sanding down paper. I meant to say we're sanding down his hair, not paper. It's kind of like sanding down paper, but it's or with paper but we're doing the the hair we're sanding down the hair keep that in mind guys right after that we come in with our half guard lever fully closed and we're gonna copy the same exact thing do not stress it guys you guys be stressing this so much and asking me why i do this why 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 don't i just go in with the half guard uh first instead of the one guard i'm doing too much work to be honest guys i've explained it many times but i'm gonna explain it one more time for y'all it's because um, it gives me less room for error and the blend comes out a lot smoother because when when going in detail You don't got to detail as much. It's simply just take out the, the lines and once they come out you're straight But I mean, I, I'll explain it again to my new subscribers and stuff if y'all <laughs> keep asking the question But just remember this is why I do the one guard first instead of the half guard. It makes it easier to, to detail it, do, it is a little bit more time consuming, but I think the results, it just comes out way better. You gotta think about it. When you go in, if you for, if you go in with the half guard first, that that line from the half guard to the to the one open, the one we use the half guard to, to flick out, it's gonna be so much harder and darker. The line's gonna be darker. So it's gonna be a hard, harder line. So it's gonna be darker and you're gonna have more trouble flicking it out. So when you do the one guard, it just smooths everything out first. So as you guys can see, I did I did take out the bottom line with my Auster Fast Feeds, and I did come in with my trimmers just to clean everything up. Right after we do that, we're gonna come in with our one and a half guard lever fully closed and create another inch guideline, and just make sure you guys keep this blade flat up. Honestly, a little bit towards the top, you can pull out a little bit. That way, um, you you giving you're giving the head the head a uh, head shape as you as you're going, and that way you don't create such crazy bulk lines, and it's gonna be even tougher to blend out. So right here, we come in right after we that we do that, we come in with our one guard lever fully open, and we're gonna copy the same exact thing we did with the one and a half guard lever fully open. Keep the blade flat and then we close it halfway and go a little bit lower now so make sure you keep this nice and even throughout the whole back of his head and then we're going to end up closing it fully and, and attacking that middle line as we did right there where, where we closed it fully and this may not take out the line completely but it softens everything up like i told you it makes it so much easier to just uh, smooth everything out so now we come in with the half guard that we're fully closed and we're going to use our corners on here and we're just going to flick out the remaining dark spots that you see. Be careful with this step because you can push up the blend. Just as soon as you guys see the dark spots come out, just leave it alone. Do not mess with it super crazy because I know people got OCD and stuff and be uh, focusing so much on one little spot. You just waste 10, 15 minutes extra that you're not, you're not supposed to be wasting so much time on, on the back. Just go at it and, um, once you see it come out, just leave it alone. So now we're gonna come in with our number two guard and we're, we're basically just done with the blend already. We're just gonna connect the top to the bottom now. And you guys can see I'm scooping out, uh, outward motion, going straight up in the way. And um, we're just cleaning up the, the sides, getting his, uh, his side edge up on the back or his lineup. Uh, that way we can clean it up and have a nice crispy solid lineup when connecting the top to the bottom do not stress it too much just go straight up and about half an inch and it, it 
it'll smooth out completely on its own to be honest a lot of people will create a whole nother guideline with these steps and that's not really necessary what you're doing you're just connecting everything and just giving it a shape as you go as you guys could tell we did do the one and a half after the number two and we're just we just cleaned up anything any little dark spot underneath and just made it as smooth as possible and with these shears we are, i am giving it some more shape and just connecting everything together that way it just blends in nicely So for the back lineup, we do add hairspray. I do do it to most of my clients, basically just to get a nice sharp lineup and lock in the hairs. And I come in with my one and a half guard and just clean any little hair up. That way we can get a nice crispy lineup as we're doing right here. As you guys can see, it's looking real sharp already. It's looking super dope, the haircut. Um, right there, as you guys can see, I did have the Faded Culture Clay. They sent me this, it's super dope. I really like their product. Um, it is super good for this one right here to add a little bit of texture, volume and stuff. So just in case you guys forgot, this is how my client came in. This is how he sat in my chair and this is how he's leaving my chair. It looks super dope. I, 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 I think it came out crispy. We got the light texture on top with the nice low taper. It's pretty simple but really effective guys. I know, I know a lot of people are scared to, to attack these type of haircuts and really like go at them but do not be afraid guys once you guys learn these type of haircuts it is it becomes a lot easier for you guys to attack any type of haircut i hope i showed you guys something useful in this video that you guys can apply to your daily barber skills hit that notification bell that way you guys get alerted every time i drop a new video i am dropping weekly uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, follow me on Instagram at Noel Blends. TikTok, if you'd like as well. I, I don't really be posting on TikTok, but it's you know I'll be on there. Other than that, Noel Blends, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.